Just set this thing up. It's okay. So we're gonna go closer to um, the bunkers so you can kind of see what that looks like. It's really cool. Um, but they're shut. They're all um, like sealed with a metal door. Um, a couple years ago, like I said, more than a couple years ago, maybe like. I don't know, maybe 10 years ago we came here and they were open, they didn't have any doors, uh, but within the last couple of years they secured it and um, so now you can't really see it inside but I guess you, well, at least we can show you what it looks like on uh, the outside. So here they are. These are all <clears throat> shelters. It's a little eerie, you know, when you really think about it. Remember that time we went in here and it was before they had the, uh, the doors put on? Yeah. So now uh, you can see we're going to walk closer to one. Yeah, so see they, they have these metal like doors, metal plates, um, and you can actually, before, you can actually find one that's open and you can walk in. And it's, I remember it being really dark in there. It's almost like the Blair Witch Project, that was what it reminded me of. So here's, we'll walk through, I don't know why this reminds me of like a cemetery, but that's kind of what it feels like, walking through a cemetery. Huh? Yeah. And there's these bunkers kind of all over um, this base on this this side of the base. And right across are the older um, homes right there. And those are pretty cool. It's like stepping back into time. Every time I come here and look at these homes, it just feels like I've stepped back into time. It would be a it would be a good movie, movie um, set, I think. And this whole island is pretty cool. There was talk about, um, I think Lucas, Lucas was going to buy this island um, or build his, uh, put up one of his 
um, stu not studios, but you know, put his business on the island. I don't ever, I don't know whatever happened, but that was um, something in the in the past that was kind of the buzz about this island that possibly Lucas was going to put his uh, business on here, his studio. ships um, that you can see and there are people on there um, working we'll try to get as close to it as possible you can actually do like a tour um, yeah don't forget to like, subscribe, and sign up for alerts so you never miss a video. So we can get a drone and show you guys most of it. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's another ship. Yeah. There's another ship there. I'm walking across. Um, I guess there used to be railroad tracks here or something. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a railroad uh, on one of the buildings. It says railroad something. So, you know, as every, like every naval base, it's it has a lot of history. And I'm sure this island has a lot of history too that we haven't even, we just scratched the surface. Really, you know, it's really, it's a historic site. And, um... Yeah, this island really fascinates me because I'm sure there is so much history here. And um, it would be interesting to really dig deep and learn more about the island. But um, pre-COVID, you, um, you can actually do like a tour of the ship. Yeah, I don't know now if they're doing anything like that, but... Uh, yeah, you could actually tour the ship and then they have a museum um, on on here too. And, and this area is just called the Historic Core. I guess this is where all the, you know, historic memorabilia is and um, where you get a lot of that information and tours done. Um, so if you guys are ever interested, just look up Mir Island um, and I'll actually post the link down below for this island. So you guys can do your research if you're ever if you're interested we're heading back now it's super windy so it's like really cold so um, we're heading back to the car dropped my gloves one of my gloves um so jared went and um went back to look for it but it is freezing it's ridiculous out there 
We're such wimps here in California. It's like 40, maybe it's like 40 something degrees with, with some high winds. And we're like, oh, it's cold. Um, Cause we're not used to this type of weather. But look at my hair. I hope Jared found my gloves. It's not, if not then, oh well. Jared couldn't find it. He couldn't find my gloves. So, that's all right. Seeing the bridge um, to go back into the city. Here's the water. Muir Island is to the right. Right over there. And then you go to the left here and that is the waterfront and or a marina as some people like to call it and there's some uh, boats here that are docked there's like a yacht club um the waterfront is also where the ferry station is so you can take the ferry into san francisco and barcadero or I believe um, Pier 39 somewhere is the two places that the ferry will drop you off. So Embarcadero and I believe it's like Pier 39 or um, the wharf, Fisherman's Wharf area. And then we're going into downtown now here. This is Tennessee Street, um, Mare Island Causeway.